have come to Ripley Castle in North Yorkshire to join the Shotgun and Chelsea Bun Club for a girls only driven pheasant and partridge day and the girls are having breakfast. If you could tidy up your cartridges we do have It starts with them. breakfast. The ladies and some of their male admirers, sorry, loaders, are gathering at the Boar's Head in the village of Ripley in North Yorkshire. Lady Ingleby is their host today and gives them a team talk over the croissants and lattes. We have four drives to look forward to today. All the guns are fascinated by one of the cars parked in the hotel car park. Is it one of them? Who could it be? Once they establish it is one of the other hotel guests, they feel they can relax. So if it's not about whips and leather, what is the Shotgun and Chelsea Bun Club? Decided to set up the club to um, encompass my two favourite things, obviously, um, and just to make shooting, play shooting and game shooting more accessible for absolutely everyone. So people, girls from all walks of life that have not necessarily um, had any exposure to shooting or don't feel like they have an end to it. Um, and, and just a place to network for more experienced girls as well. It has been so well supported, which I'm incredibly grateful for. Um, Whole Cartridge have been so, so great to us. Um, Malmo Guns in Lancaster, they've kindly provided us with a Browning 725, which is our club gun that the girls love. And they're such, such great people in a wonderful shop. Well, we are off to drive number one, a fairly easy starter drive with birds coming off farmland and following hedge lines with tall trees behind to keep them at a shootable distance. Well, mainly at a shootable distance. No question that that one is dead. Some of the women are sharing guns. They shoot four cartridges, then swap. They shoot safely. They follow Lady Ingleby's orders about ground game, and they look great, considerably better than a group of men in the same situation. Pink is the colour of the day. It's the new green. Purple and blue are making a comeback. And when they break after drive number one, it is, of course, time for pink champagne. It's also time to talk to one of the great clay shooting names of the past, who is here loading for one of the guns. Joe Neville represented Great Britain at the Olympics and Olympic Skeet and won the British Grand Prix in the 1960s, 1970s, 1980s and the 1990s. Well, there's more and more girls shoot today and it's great for the sport, isn't it, to get them out in the field. Um, we're having, you know, as I go, I do a lot of game shooting myself and there are more and more ladies taking part. So that's a man's take on women-only shooting days. Oh, that sounds all wrong. What does a woman think of looking after this bunch? Ladies' days are particularly nice because we always think there's less testosterone and lots of encouragement. Some of these ladies have not shot much before. Some of them are very, very experienced. So you, you, you are able to kind of lay on um, uh, helpers if necessary. Is it? Yes, yeah, we always, to be honest, safety is the first thing. You know, we want them to enjoy themselves, but we need them to be safe. So where we think it's necessary, we'll stand somewhere with them just to keep them safe. Um, most of the ladies come with kind of a partner or someone just to watch them and clearly you know I'm around just to keep an eye on it but uh, you know you want the experienced guns to have a challenging day but you want the novices to actually hit something. And there's a lot of pink around today isn't there? There's a, a fair amount of pink although I was just saying that the ladies seem to be verging into purple this year but uh, there is there's a fair amount of pink. I myself have my very splendid pinkier defenders for ladies days and we changed the champagne to pink. Um, but yes, no, you know, we don't take ourselves too seriously, but it is fairly pink, yeah. For drive two, I join top Chelsea bunner Victoria and her loader, the no less remarkable Cheryl Hall. Ladies shooting. Um, is, there, is there physically any difference between men and women shooting? I don't see any difference in why they can all compete together. Um, it's not about a physical sport. It's no different to... We shoot the same weapons, we shoot the same clays we shoot the same amount of clays so i don't understand why women have to be segregated cheryl has had digweedian levels of success in clay shooting with 24 world championship titles and numerous european titles in not only english sporting but also compact and fit ask she is also sponsored by hull cartridge which is providing the shells for today uh, how, how did that come about tell me about that um quite a few years ago um and uh, somebody approached them, they said that they were interested and I've stayed with them ever since and I'm, I don't look at going to any other manufacturer. Um, I think they're the best product on the market and I just, I'm so happy with them. Ideal for Hull's Imperial Game Cartridges, this drive has birds coming out over woodland and they keep the guns busy up and down the line. More refreshment, we stop for a snack at the Ripley Castle Shoot's well-appointed cafe bar. Well, half of the point of the shotgun and Chelsea Bun Club is carbohydrate. The day ends with a drive where everyone's shooting comes together. The birds pour over the top of a line of trees. It's not all shooting, shooting, shooting. There is time for a gossip too. 
Tired but happy, the women head back to Ripley Castle for that other passion, cake. Well, that's the girls driven day over with and they're off having lunch. But for a bit of a bonus, there's a party of Kiwi shooters here and they've come down to the castle for the duck. Is that fun? Unbelievable shooting. I have never seen anything like it. The ducks just get everywhere. And just coming around, it's just incredible duck shooting. Incredible duck shooting, it really is. If you want to go shooting at Ripley Castle, visit ripleycastleshoot.com. And for more about Hull Cartridge, go to hullcartridge.co.uk.